Alrighty guys, it's our last day on this lake in North Carolina. And then we're moving to another spot where it doesn't have um, any lake or anything. So I'm going to film this bass fishing video. Hopefully I can catch some good amount of bass for y'all. And um, yeah, this will be my last chance to get a, video, a bass fishing video out for y'all. So I'm taking the opportunity and I'm going to film a little bit. So hopefully I can catch some good fish. And yeah, stay tuned. I need a new worm. This thing's all worn out. They have been wearing out the the finesse worm, watermelon candy red, watermelon red, not candy red, watermelon red. This finesse worm. They've been really wearing it out. So I was trying a couple days ago with a topwater frog. They're biting on it all right, but they're really tearing this worm up. So this is what I'm gonna stick with. It's right after a big rain, so that's why everything in this thing, in this kayak is wet. I don't know how the, the bite's gonna be after this rain, but we could try. Oh, ah, perch. Yeah, they have some big old chicken pin in this pond. I caught some uh, yesterday off the little wharf we have. I'll put a picture of them in right now. But yeah, they are humongous. Like, I didn't even catch the biggest one we saw down there. And they are just humongous. Chick a pin. It's mostly all it is though. And they're they're freaking spawning right now. They got all these beds all over the place. So you can mess around with them, throw the worm in the bed, and they'll just go nuts for it. But yeah, I caught four yesterday. And I think two the day before that. Fishing's pretty tough in here, it's slow. But once when you find a good little school of them, you'll catch them. They're usually on the outskirts of the docks, like on the, in between the, uh, the dock and the bank in a little corner. Or, or like right on the outside of the brim beds, which is where I've been targeting for the most part. And they always about, uh, three to five feet deep. They haven't been any more sh any shallower than that or any deeper. They have this one little bass that lives in this flat right here, right by all this short grass. I, mean, I caught him yesterday on the worm. I don't know if he's gonna go back for it today. And then like two days before that, I caught him on a frog. Same bass, he got the same hook marks in his mouth. Got some hits on on this. I think it's chicken pen again. Yeah, the bass just freaking demolish this. It's no, it's no question about it. The chicken pen just kind of peck at it. Ooh. Yep. They don't even. They just hit the tail. Don't even mess up the uh, the hook or anything. That's that hit over here. Bit it twice. Let's see if he's gonna bit it a, bite it a third time. Third time is not the charm. That's a fish. Ooh. Nice. 
nice one. And I hope you didn't swallow the hook. Although that's what it looks like. Nope, not really. There we go. Pretty well sucker. Alright, he's good. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that part out. That was pretty grueling. Get all this slime out of here. Alright, back at it. Cool, the water's hot. Water is very high. Yeah, that rain definitely brought the water up. Now I'm really moving. Seems that my father and Jacob have already, have already beat us here. Looks like I'm just gonna fish right next to them. Oh well, they'll have to deal with me. I bet I'll catch more fish than them. Yep. No, they can you. What? And my presence here had no effect on your fishing. That's what we got. We got the secret thing. Mhm. Mm so All right. Where are you going? What? Okay. I am. I'm going to hit the point and then I'm going back across to the other side and then I'm done. Yay! Oh, and he swallowed it. What's new? Nice little fish. Thank you, Lord. Alright, this one was good. One more fish. Moving one more time.
this is a deep little cut here. Go. Pretty little sucker. Yeah, all the bass in this pond are pretty small. Spicy little sucker. Snap that back in. This is a new little cove that I have not fished, so it's good to see that I'm catching fish in a cove that I haven't fished yet, so. Hmm. Very satisfied with my decision to come here. It was worth it now. Alright, I think I've made my mark here. And I'm going to the next little cove. So yeah, hit this dock real quick. I'm going to be hitting all the docks in between here in the next one. Because they have fish on them. <clears throat> Next little cove. I haven't caught anything in this cove. But you know, hopefully, I might catch something this time. Who knows? Just hit it. Man, that was instantaneous. That was my first cast here. Deer up there. I don't know if you can see it on GoPro. Probably can, it's a little tiny brown speck. Well, it's not that far away from me, but on GoPro it probably is. And these lilies. I'm about to be all up in the deer. It's amazing how desensitized these deer are to humans. Amazing. Got the beeping of the GoPro, me talking, hitting stuff. Doesn't care whatsoever. Two big old does, some pretty ones too. God, I got three of them. I got one right there. That sucker freaking swam to me. But look how beautiful that fish is. That's a pretty fish.
pretty good. And he's here just eating up these people's landscaping. That's freaking nuts. Let's see if I can use this worm one more time, even though it's pretty darn torn up. Nah, it's done. Completely torn. Right now. Alright, got two worms left. After this. Oop. Sorry, dear. That's funny, all of them looked at me simultaneously. for it to bite. Yep, there that sucker is again. That's a bass. Small little sucker. Pretty though, very pretty. Stop it, stop. Stop flapping between my legs. Beautiful little bass. They're all about the same size. fish some docks in between here and the next cove and then that's the last cove of this pond and then I'm done with this with bass fishing for this Carolina this North Carolina trip God, look how bad that thing is ripped man oh well I'll keep fishing with it till it comes off A little outer lip of this little cove that goes down into the left. And I'm gonna start fishing here. Hit some of those docks, but I didn't really catch anything. <clears throat> and after I fish this. I'm going to be done with bass fishing in this pond in North Carolina. But yeah, out here I have like the whole entire lake to myself basically. I mean, they literally have like one, one pontoon boat with some old people on it just cruising around with their dogs making laps around the lake. It's literally the only type of traffic. I'm the only person fishing. And I've not seen anybody else fishing out here besides me and my, my, my family. Icy sucker. Sweet. Cool, Leo hooked him in his eye. How in the heck does that work? Stop slapping me in my nuts. Thank you. Pretty little sucker. 
And I think that's gonna wrap off this this bass fishing trip. Whole bunch of very pretty little fish. Gotta fix this up. Oh, my worm's done. Doesn't even matter. Rip this off. Secure my line, and I'm heading back. Well, that was a great trip. We still got a couple days left, but we're not really doing anything exciting. So, I will basically be done with these videos for this trip until I get back home. Have some stuff going. For the 250, a whole bunch of uh, a lot of water on this. Ordered a whole bunch of parts for the 250. Um, we'll be putting all those together. I think it's about 1300 parts, 1300 dollars worth of parts for the 250. So, I'll be doing a build on that. Um, I got some some other smaller videos planned on the street that were worth making a whole like minute video off the road. Um, yeah, this was this was a cool, cool trip. It's not my favorite. I'd rather be in the, in the West, but I ain't complaining. This is better than being at home, so. Yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, go check out my other videos.